it will be my last marathon. Uh, it won't be my last race. Maybe there might be a bit of tears and a bit emotional. And Chris, how are the legs feeling ready for Sunday? It's been a decent build up. As I was saying to Emil on uh, driving from the photos, um, it's hard to have a any one build up the same. It's all, it seems like a different journey every time. This is my eighth marathon and I'm just intrigued to see what happens. I'm hoping this will set me up for the year. Um, I don't know if I've nailed every session like this chap has, but um, as I've learned from marathons, that doesn't, for me personally, doesn't mean everything. So I'm just excited to be here and be in the middle of these two and hopefully uh, give it a bash and uh, see if I can mix it up. Last year I was definitely gutted. Uh, I was in decent shape and just got injured uh, just a week before the London Marathon. But that's, that's athletics, it happens. But uh, this year uh, I'm back and I'm, I'm healthy, which is a key thing. Question for Emil, as it's your debut for the, over the distance going into Sunday, I was just wondering if the thinking is to just sort of learn the distance, sort of take in the day, or are you going in with sort of more of a, a race target, a time target in mind? I think it's a little bit of both. Obviously, like any race, I want to perform the best and try and achieve a target, but <clears throat> I think the primary objective is to learn the race and have a good experience, and then hopefully I can take that to future races where I can be more competitive with the top guys, and yeah, and so this is just a platform for that, I think. The key thing is for me is that if I, as, lo as long as I stay injury-free and, 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 and be free and, and can do the work, then I will, I will continue, as, as, you, as you said, but... My, my body's not allowing me, and I think, uh, as I said, Sunday it was probably be my last marathon in terms of, you know, just being realistic and uh, and seeing it. It will be my last marathon. Uh, it won't be my last race. It, it, it'd be quite emotional because you, I remember 13 years old, 14 years old. I was here watching, you know, great athletes going, oh, they're running on Sunday, and, and you're taking part in the mini marathon. So. And the support the people when they come out in London, uh, I think that would get to me. Um, but I try not to think about it and just just try and run. And after the race, maybe there might be a bit of tears and a bit emotional. For advice-wise, I would say um, keep keep that hunger, keep that sort of naivety a little bit, and don't let uh, the baggage of expectation and all these things creep in. And keep trying to figure yourself out because when you get older you'll rely on having to constantly relearn yourself and relearn to keep yourself in the game. I'm more like impressed and I'm looking forward to see what you go on to do, mate. So, yeah, thumbs up. I'm saying that in front of him, but I said that even if they weren't here, honestly. <laughs> just go out there and run your own race and just see how you feel and get through it. Don't put pressure on yourself. But first one, go out there, enjoy it and set a personal best will. Which would you prefer, Arsenal to win the Premier League this season or to win the marathon on Sunday? Arsenal. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one to answer that one. Um, honestly, no, always London. I would say London. What a terrible fan you are. <laughs>